Hi, do you also have this button where you can upload multiple files to ChatGPT? No, you don't have this? Okay, then maybe we should build it together. What you just saw is a Chrome plugin and I will show you how to build it. It's actually quite easy. You need a manifest.json file and you need another file which is the code which is running on the browser. And in the manifest file we need yeah, a JSON file and first we need the manifest version. Currently the up-to-date version is version 3 and then you need a name for your Chrome plugin and I call it data upload injector because we inject JavaScript code into the ChatGPT website and then we say it's version 1.0 and then there is also the possibility to make a description and I just say it injects a data upload button into the active website and then we have some content scripts and the important part here is the JS part and we say our JS files are just content.js. You can have multiple files but we just have one content.js and yeah it matches all URLs so it's possible to use it on all URLs but currently we just use it on ChatGPT. So and we also need a permissions array and we want to allow the script to run on the active tab. So this is everything you need to describe uh, how your plugin works. And now we can write the content.js file. Okay, now we can run our content.js. What we're gonna do here is we will define a function, which I call upload button, which will get an argument and this will be the text area. And then we will create an element. This will be the input element. This will be the button where we upload our files. And we now, give the input type to file and we also give the input an ID which will be ac actual button and we set it to hidden currently and we also allow to use multiple files. So we set this input uh, multiple property to true. Okay, after the button we will create a label element and this will be the visual representation of the button and we give this label a lot of styling. So this will be the label for the button here and we give it the text content upload files, we give it a background color, set the color to white, give it some padding and place it on the top right of the website. Okay, after creating the label, we can now uh, add an event listener to this and we add a click event listener and what we're gonna do is we trigger the click event on the actual button. So this is actually just a helper function that allows us to uh, upload files not uh, just when we directly click on the button, but we also click on the label. So this will be triggered if we click on the label and if we click on the button. Then we add an event listener to the actual button and this will listen to a change. So if we upload something, then what we're gonna do is we will read the files and store them inside a variable. This will be an array with the, the target files and if we don't have any files uploaded, then we'll just return and do nothing. But if we have files, we will just iterate over them. So this is a for loop and we iterate over every file uh, which will be stored in the files variable. And then we'll take the file from the current iteration and read, uh, create a new file reader. This reader now allows us to read the files and this has an event on load and if uh, the on load event is triggered, we will just read the contents here from the event and this content will be added to the text area which is the ChatGPT um, here, the prompt. This will be added there so that we can uh, just have the content of the files we uploaded inside this text area. So what we do now is we try to get the button. This is the submit button. Uh, which will be triggered when we click here. And if you don't have anything in there, it is just disabled. And this is something um, only when we click here and write something, this will uh, change. But if you upload files and don't trigger that manually, it will just be disabled and you have to write something else to actually uh, trigger the submit to ChatGPT. So what we're gonna do here is we set the disabled to false and also remove the class. So. Uh, this is done because we want to upload our files and just click on send and not write something additional to the, up, uh, to the input of the files. 
So, and then we run read as text and we read the file here. Okay, so far so good. And now we also, of course, have to add our input and the label to the document object model. And this can be done with document body append child. So the input will be added and the label will be added to the document object tree. Okay, so now we have to listen to the website to render first. So this can be done with a mutation observer and we define a new mutation observer stored in the variable observer. And then we try to get the element by ID, the prompt text area. This is the ID um, here. This is the text area with this ID. And then we uh, check if it exists. And if yes, we run our function add upload button. So everything will be done here. This is the whole function. This will be run when the ID text area exists. So uh, this helps us to not run our plugin on other websites like yeah, google.com, which does not have a prompt text area. Okay, and after that, we just disconnect our observer because we only want to run it once. Okay, and then we run observer.observe and we observe the document for changes. And if everything works, we should now have a working Chrome plugin and we can upload it. And of course we have to do this and I will show you how. You just go to here extensions and additional tools and extensions. And then you go to load extensions and you go to the directory where you develop the plugin. For me, it's stored here and just I just click on select and then the website gets loaded. And I can always here remove it. And then you can see there is no more upload button here. And if we just want to edit, we can edit again. And now we can see it. We just reload our website and everything works as expected. So pretty easy, isn't it? If you want to do that, just copy the file from my GitHub repository and do it on your own. Okay, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.